Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome again to God Seller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have my co-host, Brother Dan. And uh, Brother Dan's going to read another prophecy message today. Uh, this one, I think, is probably as uh, hair-raising as the one we just, his last one we just put up. I think it's called the First Announcement. So join me in the New King James Version Study Bible. I'm in Matthew, uh, chapter 25, verses 6 to 13. Uh, title passage is Parable of the Ten Virgins. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came, also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Um, good morning. Um, I want to read another word that I got from the Lord for God's Healer 7. I got this word on uh, July 1st, 2012. I have deemed thee worthy to speak these words of truth. Let each day be seen as a new page in the book of life. Look around thee, is the days of awakening not upon thee? When you open your heart to my word, you shall feel my redeeming grace. The order of events has begun, and that which has been started cannot be stopped. For those that find the light, they shall not fear the darkness. Humble thyself, son of man, for you shall bear witness to my name. My glory shall fill this house called by my name, and you shall lift the hearts of those who hear these words. All those who call on me shall find me. I shall pour out my spirit in these latter days, and you shall announce what is forthcoming. Has each hour not strengthened your resolve to do my will? The tally is near complete. The corrupt one awaits to assume his throne. What is started in prayer is finished by the will of the Father. There is no power that shall stop me, for my will shall be done. Do not fear tomorrow, for it shall bring forth a new beginning. I shall reward those who have toiled in gathering my fruits. For those who turn inward, they shall see outward. Wow. Amen. Another hair-raising message. And um, we have several messages out there right now about the gathering. The gathering has begun, the Feast of the Harvest, uh, the First Fruits. Um, we just put one up, for, uh, the Grapes of Wrath. And the last one, again, that I said we put up is called uh, the First Announcement, uh, the, day, the Great Day of the Lord, or the Day of the Lord is at Hand. And uh, Brother Dan got insight as to that was the first of three announcements. We don't know what they are or when they're coming. So I would check in every now and then because uh, I, th that announcement of the day of the Lord is at hand, uh, that just, I was speechless yeah, after that. So again, the Lord, we know he's coming back soon. The signs are all about repent, be baptized in Jesus' name. Uh, you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 2.38. That's what we believe. Uh, again, he's um, telling me to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. That is Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. Um, I will be proclaiming that until then. Maybe I'll be retired after that, I don't know. But again, he's coming and he's gathering. So you want to be in with the gathering. So praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Dan. Praise and Lord. again, watch out for our second and our third announcement from Brother Dan of, <laughs> of, the, of the Lord's message. And thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord.